Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Stella and today I am joined by editor Haley. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Um, and today we are going to be reacting to Shaun of the Dead. Now, I have seen this movie. Haley, you have not, correct? Nope, never. Awesome. So it'll be kind of, a, uh, I'll be coming back to this reaction after a couple years. It's been a few years since I saw this movie. And for Haley, it'll be a full first time reaction. Um, we are reacting to this movie as a part of the Cornetto trilogy, which includes this movie, Hot Fuzz, and At World's End. Or just World's End. I can't remember the name of that movie. So obviously, I'm an expert on the Cornetto <laughs> trilogy. Um, but yeah, we are going to be reacting to that entire trilogy of movies, which is really excited, exciting because I have not seen Hot Fuzz or World's End. So those will be brand new reactions to me. Um, but yeah, what we know about this movie, it is a zombie movie. It is a dark comedy. And... I can't imagine has anything really to do with Hot Fuzz or World's End because Hot Fuzz is like, as far as I know, a buddy cop movie and At World's End is like an apocalypse movie. So I don't really know how they're interconnected, but I guess we're going to see. As always, if you want to watch the full length reaction of Shaun of the Dead, that is going to be up on our Patreon along with early access to Hot Fuzz. So if you're interested in either of those things, hop on over to our Patreon. And if you're new here, welcome. If this is the first reaction that you're seeing with us, we are so glad to have you here. Uh, we recently passed a milestone of 100,000 subscribers on our channel, yay, which is really exciting because James and Nigel Brush have been working really, really hard for like the last three years just on YouTube in general and have done some really cool stuff and it's awesome to see that the, the growth that they've gotten. Um, so yeah, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to help us maybe get to 110K because that would be really, really cool. Um, and yeah, I think with all of that out of the way, are you ready to get started, Haley? I'm ready, let's go. I really love how the Universal Studios logo is different in so many different movies. I've definitely never said this before. This is like the first time I'm making that observation, right, Haley? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> totally for sure. the first time that I've ever said that. Stella, how do you feel about zombie movies? I hate them. <laughs> no, okay, I, I enjoy them, but I find them beyond depressing. I don't like the idea of an apocalypse. What about you? I love zombie movies. Amazing. I think like, you'll like this one then. I, I'm not too big of a fan of like horror movies in general, but zombies, I'm like, throw them at me. It's a funny movie. Edgar Wright, gosh, he is a genius. Everything he does, I really, really enjoy. And it's one of those things where if you're not paying attention, you'll miss these amazing jokes. It's not that I don't like Ed. Ed, it's not that I don't like you. Sure. He's right there. <laughs> oh no. Nice if we can. Fuck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody knows an Ed. Yeah, that's true. I also said before to Haley, I am sick today, so if I sound kind of gross, that's why. It's not that I don't like David and Donnie. Guys, it's not that I don't like you. <laughs> what? There's just more people appearing. It's just Ed doesn't have too many friends. Can I get any of you cunts a drink? I wonder why Ed doesn't have many friends. Hmm, interesting. Things will change, I promise. Really sure. I feel like they are gonna change, but not in the way that you think. <laughs> I love this opening so much. <laughs> oh man. Maybe the real zombies were the friends we made along the way. There you go. <laughs> what is happening? I like the title on the floor though, that's fun. Edgar Wright, you know, I haven't seen a ton of his movies, but I find every everything he does, he always finds a really interesting way to communicate things visually. You know, whether it works for everyone, it's different. It's always different. Same. <laughs> Me when I wake up in the morning. That was so much, so fast. <laughs> I know, what a montage. You do know the front door was <laughs> open again last night. I'm not saying it was you. I know, man. I'm saying it was Ed. I can't live like this. So we're all just roomies, totally getting along, no problems at all. To be fair, I think if you don't fight with your roommates, you don't really have roommates. Yeah, but also Ed has got to be like the worst roommate ever. Yeah, I mean, you're probably right. I like having him around, he's a laugh. What, because he can impersonate an orangutan? Fuck a doodle do. Oh, uh, hold on. <gasps> Let's oh not my crap gosh. all over that skill. That's a great skill. I've only got an M room myself. All right, bye. So interesting to hear like British slang. I was gonna say British drug dealer slang yeah. is interesting. <laughs> if you play the answer machine, could you take down everyone's messages, not just your own? Yep. Oh yeah, okay, I take it back. I think Ed is a really bad roommate. He is a very bad roommate. Oh, he's a very bad roommate. Dom, Come on, it was pretty funny. That's really bad. Isn't he about to go to work? You can't do that. He is. Oh, hey. Oh, you're dead. 
like, uh oh. What a weird thing to say to uh, a child. That totally isn't going to pay off in the future. He will definitely encounter this child as a zombie at some point later. <laughs> Interesting. So is like the virus from space or something? I don't know. Could be It feels possible. like it is. I, legitimately, it sounds like I'm like trying to keep secrets from you. I don't remember, hun. I really don't. <laughs> as well as, he sells uh, refrigerators. As the, um, oldest oh gosh. Senior staff member. Those look like children. Those are absolutely teenagers. Mm -hmm. Just a fun little summer job that they're totally gonna put tons of effort into. Totally munted last night. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm gonna assume it means like wasted, trash, mm. something like that. Dude, you can't just answer your phone in the middle of- This is gonna be our lesson in translating British slang. <laughs> We're gonna do our best. Any British people in the comments, please let us know what certain words mean. There's That'd no be great. I in tin. Yes, please. There is an I in pie. Oh, I love There's pie. There's an I in meat pie. So the anagram of meat is team. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's very convoluted. How old are you? 17? Oh no. 17? Oh. You know, I got things I wanna do in my life. When? Oh, oh. oh nobody's brutal on. like teenagers. He got red on him. Foreshadowing? All the basic uh, news. Uh oh. Maybe we want to watch the news. Philip. <laughs> I love Phil Nye. Sean. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's so good in this movie. I do remember him. Okay, did you see the trucks passing know, behind right? him? Yep. He is not listening. This is bad. Liz from head office. It's nothing to panic about. Definitely Liz from head office. Uh oh. To a wonderful mum or pal. Super mom. Oh, super mom. Super the mom. First one. What? Bruh, how are you gonna not see the zombie outside of the window? Ooh, don't like that. I think this movie was just like a challenge to see how many classic horror tropes they could shove into the shortest runtime. We've already gotten like the, the bathroom mirror closing and someone standing behind us, mm -hmm. the guy disappearing as the bus passes by. We've got mm -hmm. all the tropes. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh my god. Gosh. Like, how is she not noticing either? I don't know. Sorry, we just gave away the last table. Where are we gonna go? The Winchester. Don't be stupid. Do not go to the Winchester, please. They're full up. You didn't book it, did you, Sean? What is the plan then? I can't believe he didn't even book it at all. Do not say the, the Winchester. Winchester. No! That card right, can you let me in, please? absolutely says, you're a wonderful mom. Like, and I he's know. gonna give it to her. Ugh. You hang out with my friend. No. Sorry, a failed actress and a twat. That's harsh. Your words. I did not call Diana a failed actress. I guess we really don't like David then. I know, my goodness. Don't need him. What, what was the next one? Oh no. Oh, not too little, too late, bro. I'd say your nine lives were up, Sean. Get oh, David, shut up. Four eyes. Oh my gosh. Why don't you go out there, you love her so much? What do you mean by that? Oh no. Dude, no, you, there better what? not be some subplot going on here. I don't know what he meant by that. Oh, no, that's Diane definitely knows what he meant by that. You know, I think Diane can do better. I also think Liz Diane can do better. Diane likes the theater. We <laughs> like the theater. Mm -hmm. She seems lovely. Liz, I think you should dump him. I think so. Maybe it's the wake-up call that he needs right now. Those are for your mother. Aw. Oh, he looks really sad. He really does. Any favorite monkey? Shall I do flies? Oh, I forgot he could impersonate monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Pegg See, is just acting his butt off in this scene, and then there's Ed. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah I'll put this on. <laughs> on random. Aww. <laughs> Fuck's sake. John, yes, please. Let me be sad, okay? He's allowed to be sad. You know what we should do tomorrow? Keep drinking. No, I was literally gonna say, stop drinking. Have some water. Some bread, maybe. Eat something, drink something that's not alcohol. Burn you the trophy wife. He's connected. Why do you think there's a rifle above the bar? Have you ever done this when you're out in public where you like look around and you're like, I bet I know this person's story. <laughs> make and you up just stories. make up a story for them. I, I used to do that a lot. It's not the end of the world. Ooh, that. I wonder if these are going to be the fast zombies. <laughs> or the oh, we're leaving zombies. so quietly. Well, we're not attracting any attention at all. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> she was snacking. She was having a little snack. Oh my gosh! <laughs> if you and your friend don't have a, a techno dance party during the apocalypse, are you really friends? You know, that's a good point. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't, don't do that to the other roommate, though. I know, I don't blame him. We've had a couple of drinks. We split no, up. No, really? You don't say. Just keep it down, yeah. Oh, that was, Pretty you know, I. Nothing. Ed. He's no, Ed, don't do that, literally. Right now. He's a fucking idiot. Go live in that shed, you thick 
fuck? Everyone is so mean in this movie. I know. What's up with your hand, man? <gasps> he got bit. I got mugged on the way home from work. I don't know, some crackheads or something. One of them bit me. Oh no. Anytime you see any injury in any zombie movie. Next time I see him, he's dead. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, that was a cool transition. That really was. But very unrealistic that he didn't move at all while he's asleep. <laughs> if I tried to sleep in a chair, I'd be like flapping all over the place. Do you want anything from the shop? Cornetto. Yeah. Wait a second. Huh? Maybe there is a, a through line. That's that's the name of the trilogy. Is that the through line that every movie just has the word they Cornetto They mentioned in it and Cornetto. Stars Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. That's the connected universe. <laughs> notice literally everything around him. He's hung over. Give him a rest, man. He doesn't know the notice the holes in windshields and all the people walking in the street. Okay, valid. But he is hung over. <laughs> he's depressed. He's also a bit of an idiot. We're gonna give him the benefit of the doubt here. <laughs> okay, I get. All right, all right. Yo, come <laughs> on. Oh, are you joking? There are days when I feel like this. I just like tunnel vision and I'm like, gotta go buy some corn nuts. And then that's my only goal for Nelson. the day. I don't notice anything else. Why are you about 15p? Nelson is a zombie, my guy. Everyone's a zombie. Or I guess evacuated. Dude, come on. No, I haven't got any change. I didn't even have enough at the fucking shop. Though. How did he not notice the entire time? Attacks on people who are literally being eaten alive. When I was younger, I used to flip through TV channels hoping that they would do that thing where like the <laughs> words would be connected and it would make a sentence and it never worked and it really bummed me out. I think it's Excuse one of those me. things that only work in the movies. No. Oh, hey. Dude, that's your first instinct is to throw a rock at somebody? You need to calm <laughs> down. This is Ed we're talking about. She's so drunk. I guess to be fair, my first instinct wouldn't be, oh, she's a zombie. Yeah, especially this one specifically has no blood or guts coming out of her, so I mean, that's a big thing. Wait! He said, wait there! just get off me! Mary, I'm warning you. Oh, she was at the, um, the store. She's like a cashier. Oh, but she's gonna get right up. If we get a shot through this hole, I oh. swear I'm gonna lose we it. We really might. Mm -hmm. We definitely oh, will. Yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, is it like, does it actually make sense that the pole would oh. go straight? Oh. Jeez. The pole would go straight through her. But I think if she's dead and it's dead tissue, maybe that makes sense. They still have that. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think they are. Maybe, just possibly. <laughs> I, yeah, maybe you know, have a beer because that's the other what you guys need to do in every situation. Yeah. The other roommate's about to come out. Like, oh, a hundred percent. Dude, they never close the door. <laughs> they literally said they never close the front door. <laughs> they oh leave it open. <laughs> Always lock and close your doors, kids. Yes. <laughs> that's a little reaction. <laughs> Killed me. They are missing him. Oh my god. No, they're, they're getting a couple hits in there. But like legitimately, I do feel like I would pick up anything and throw it ooh, and throw it at, at him. If there was a zombie in my house, it would be like everything's a weapon. Running away while just throwing stuff, that would be my plan. Fair. I'm gonna shut the front door. I would shut the front would, door, that's a good idea. I would idea, drag but... him out and then shut the door. I think also they're not quite aware of how the zombies work well, somehow. But they saw the girl. They did, get, yeah, like, she came back. Stabbed. Hey, hold up, before you go anywhere, you should go check out our merch store. We just relaunched it, we have tons of cool designs and we have a special 100K subs limited edition clothing line. It's gonna be gone by the end of October. So feel free to go check it out. We're super, super proud of it. Now, back to the video. Removing the head or destroying the brain. We don't have any better weapons. <laughs> Dude, how did they miss everybody? Like, missed every also, time. Also, throw the laundry basket. Ooh, no, 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 snap it, and then you can... Again, it looks like their flesh is probably deteriorated a bit, so it's like softer maybe, Some which is a good thing for us. Um, I think it was Blue Monday. That was the original pressing. Just throw throw the vinyls, Guys, man. it does not matter at this point. They're like the looking soundtrack. through. Definitely not. The Batman soundtrack. Throw it. What? Not the Batman soundtrack? How dare you? There's gotta be good stuff in here, come on. Like gardening tools or something? Yeah, there yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, we got a shovel, that's good. Uh, the cricket bat, I think maybe won't do as much damage as you might think. Yeah, keep going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't stop. That's like rule number one. Pete. <laughs> I'm glad they remembered he wasn't feeling well. Mom, have you been bitten? No, but Philip has. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the 
you're like, oh, chill, no worries. Even if you don't like Philip, she's still in the same house as him. You know yeah, how, they, how this works. Listen, Mom, sit tight, okay? You're not safe. No, <laughs> we have to kill my stepdad. We're coming to get you, Barbara. So, I don't know how much you know about zombie movies. We're coming to get you, Barbara, is a very famous line from, I believe, Night of the Living Dead. Like the oh. old, I think, Romero film, mm -hmm. where he go he's pretending to be a monster and he goes, ah. That's what I remember from this movie. So that's my fun fact of the day. Yay! I have to know if she's all mm -hmm. right. Why? Because I love her. Oh! <gasps> We can't bring him back here. Where's safe? Where's familiar? Please don't bring him to the Winchester. Mm-hmm. Kill Phil. Sorry. Grab Liz. Go to the Winchester. Have a nice cold pint. Make no attempt to reach loved ones. You believe everything you hear on TV? Oh, my gosh. Any zombies out there? Don't say that. The Z word. Don't say it. Oh, I forget people say Z instead of Z. I know. It's so strange to hear. Mm-hmm. Can I drive? What? what Absolutely drive not. Please do not drive pizza no. car. No. <laughs> okay. No, no, Edward. Please. Excuse me, sir. Oh my gosh, wait, is he gonna close them or like move the mirror again? <gasps> just leave. You're already leaving. You took the whiz, just go. Just walk out the door, just my guy. Just leave Pete. Pete's okay. He's just uh, taking a oh! shower. He's fine. <laughs> We're gonna borrow your just car. leave, my guy. Oh, just open the door and go. Yeah, just run, man. Dude, seriously? Stop trying to talk to him. Pete would be so pissed off if he knew I was driving his car, eh? I don't think so. <laughs> I think he already is pretty peed off. Oh. Dude, I knew this kid was coming back. I mean, it is pretty scary to like see everybody that you knew. I know, man. All the people he saw on the street, too. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I hate about zombie movies. It's like, it's it's everybody in your area. It's so depressing. Yeah, pretty traumatic and awful. Once again, the bodies of the recently deceased are returning to life Yikes. and attacking the living. Once again? Wait, what do you mean, once again? <laughs> I don't know. You're not telling... I'm so confused. There's no way there's been another zombie apocalypse in this world. Maybe there has. I don't know. He just says, I think we hit something. No, I would, I would, I would gotta keep Gotta keep going. driving. This is the one scenario where I think a hit and run is okay, but unless he was a living guy and not a zombie, that would be kind of a bummer. Yeah, just... Uh, He's gone. gone. You should drive. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Why don't I stay here? Look after the car if there's any problems? I'll hold three times. I mean, that's not the worst thing. Because then if he stays yeah. in the driver's seat, if they need to get out, like if they need to get away driver really quick. You got red on you. Yeah. Look, mom. I, I love this actress. She's in uh, she's in Downton Abbey. Put the kettle on and I'll deal with Philip. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. How do you explain to your mom that you have to kill her husband because he's a zombie? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Philip. Why? <laughs> Ooh. What have you done now? There's a box of your toys upstairs. I took them all to the tip, Barbara. Oh, what? <laughs> that was me anytime I, my mom would donate my old toys. I was always so bummed out. I'm not going anywhere without Philip. Mom, look. How about that tea? I feel like you need to like explain it to them. Yeah, but he doesn't know how to, It's he obviously doesn't know how to talk to his mom or his girlfriend or anybody. You gotta be a man. Yo, he hasn't turned yet, though. No, he hasn't. Like, how are you supposed to justify killing him when he's acting Hello, Edward. normal? Hi, Barbara. My <laughs> he's covered in blood! Where's the car? He cranked it. You were parked. He did that on Guess purpose so he can take the nice bag. car? Ed, that's literally so dumb. Philip, Look out! Oh, he did. Philip, get the car. You're not driving that car. Philip! Philip is so dumb. Calm for what just happened. No, don't worry about me. Worry about your mother. See, he seems like genuinely a nice guy. Aww. Maybe a little rough around the edges, but... I can't believe they're taking him. He got bit. Like, this really seems yeah. like not a good idea. I understand it's hard. It's literally just a matter of time it's now. family, but like... Philip, have you still got the child locks on? Safety first, Sean. <laughs> What's the Leather. You can turn off the child locks, though. I know. I don't know if Ed knows how to. All right, now we got to get Liz and Diane and David. Although I kind of get I, the feeling he's going to leave David and Diane He would leave them behind. for sure. He has to get buzzed in. He's still fixing his Dude, hair. Dude, there's oh, no. the zombies are coming. The other thing is if they're up on a higher floor, they might be safer. Oh, is he climbing again? <laughs> what are you doing? I'll come to get you. To be honest, okay, that's pretty sweet, though. Yeah. However, again, they might be safer in here than they would be running away with him. That's true. We also don't really have room in the car for the three of them, and it's going to be awful if he just grabs Liz. Mm-hmm. We're with you, Sean. What? We're with you? What a weird love square this is. I know. Has anyone got transport? Yes, yes. Great, where? 
Oh, no. Well, I passed my test. Oh, good for you, Diane. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> she seems so happy about that, too. This is why Ed should not have crashed the car. I know, Ed is the worst right now. What's the plan, then? We're going to the Winchester. Don't you think you'd want to, like, keep driving? Get something somewhere way farther away? Just somewhere rural, you know, with a, yeah. a small mm, that's population. A good idea. How do we know that, like, any of the people working at the pub have not been turned already anyways? Yeah, I know. What if they get there and it's full of zombies? Being a father is not easy. What? This man knows he's dying. Somebody to look up to and I, I thought it could be me. <sighs> that's really sad. Take care of your mom. Fall over! You gotta kick him out of the car, unfortunately. Mum, it's Philip. He's gone. Where's he gone? <sighs> Mum, he's dead. No, he isn't. <laughs> <gasps> why don't you kick him out of the car? I know, why are we Guys. all getting out? Push him out, just drive at this point. He just stood there, he didn't open the door. My guy, what are you doing? Yeah, we, we want to be in the car, not Philip. There is nothing of the man you loved in that car now, nothing. He stopped the music. He did. Maybe he's maybe he's there's still a little bit of him left. Nothing's changed. <gasps> maybe this is the best time to talk about it. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> it's on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Martin Freeman. Martin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, I have the biggest crush on Martin Freeman. Oh. I forgot he was in this. What? This is my boyfriend, Declan. Mm -hmm. Um Declan. That's such a British name. My mom. Um and uh, my cousin Tom. This is the same lineup of people. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Oh and my that God. continues to be my favorite part of this entire movie. He's that just so cocky really and confident funny. before he does it, and then he goes, it kills me. I'm sure Jill and Derek live around here. There they are. There's Jill and Derek. Oh no. Oh no! Mom! I'm coming! Oh my gosh. Low key, it was a good role. That was really good. Are you okay? I don't think Jill and Derek do live here. Okay, but she screamed for a reason. Is she okay? I know. She get bit. Hey guys, somebody help him. Is that Derek? Must be. Hi. That's good. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. I mean, I wouldn't use the ball part. Yeah, I would yeah, use, I would the, use the metal the part. <laughs> part. Yeah. Oh my gosh, bro. Yes. However, there is no physical way that he managed to actually impaled that rod into the into tree. The, tree. So the guy should be absolutely able to just walk it off. <laughs> it's such a little ladder. Is it clear? No. <laughs> the performances and the fact that they chose to like linger on him walking up and then coming back down. Um, oh, holy golly. That's a lot. Yeah, I, I say abandon the Winchester plan. Although now that we don't have a car, we kind of can't. We have I know, to go where in. are they gonna go? Yes, we're not gonna get anywhere by moaning. If they pretend to be zombies? His... Oh, she's an actress. Oh, That's yeah. right. Oh my gosh. Uh. Okay. It's mournful, uh. sorrowful. You definitely hate uh. it. Go. Yeah, David hates the theater. We know this already. <laughs> it's true. Uh. Oh, perfect. What is that? We died in my G fucking king of the zombies. Oh, oh. Sean literally is like doing the most here. You guys need to be nicer to him. David, you're killing it. You're ruining it. I appreciate that the zombie designs aren't too terribly gory like they're not walking dead zombies i hate that i hate when they're like jaw is missing or like mm -hmm. their face is messed up me no likey john bernie are you there it's sean and ed i don't think that they're there two seconds ed hey, are hey. you joking oh, sure. i spent an entire life look at me the zombies are just coming and all you ever do is <laughs> yeah i, I think me look stupid we definitely have to have this conversation but maybe not out here sean how nice of them to all hesitate from attacking so that you can finish your argument, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dude. See, I can, the Sar, there's no way that he's not getting bitten or scratched at least when he's doing that. Win, then? Oh my gosh, David. David is so heartless. Aw. Oh, those are the flowers. I think they're for me. I would, I would keep they them. Were. What's, what's the they were. They actually were them? for you. There's no lights. There's no power. Where are the owners? And there's that bloody great hole in the window. You did that, you twat. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you did that. Somebody has to take control of the situation. And if 
None of you are prepared to accept that responsibility. Yeah, but Sean straight up jumped into a horde of zombies for you guys. Yeah, you sorry. You are not in control here, buddy. Listen, you are, you are not the hero of this story. We've got our nibbles. We've got our mini chatters. David! Listen, that's better than nothing. Oh. Any sign of John and Bernie? Uh, we haven't seen them. Check upstairs. What's the phone situation? Dead. Same as the power. He's so much better at being a leader. He really is now. Than David is. What's the plan then? Would anyone like a peanut? I would like a peanut. I hate how dark it is. Something's gonna pop out from somewhere. Oh! <gasps> Dude! That's so scary! And so well framed. And also a very relatable reaction. Just lights back off, close the blinds, walk away. Oh no. Uh oh, that's really bad. Yeah, at least before we had the, the news anchors and people and it looks mm -hmm. like everyone's out. We're MTV. not thinking to ask Ed what he wants to do with the, the money before we give it to him. I feel like he's gonna put he, a song on the jukebox. I think he is. He is Ed, after all. They follow me. We just have to be extra quiet then, won't we? Now he's playing a game. Oh my gosh. <sighs> How could you possibly think that was an okay idea? Cause he's not very smart. This is so bad. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Well, who the hell put this on? Some random. <laughs> we're gonna do as much talking over the song as we can, so because otherwise we're not gonna be able to conclude any of this. Nope. It'll be copyrighted. There what are they what are they doing? Like they're just kind of like whacking him? Yeah, I would think we know it's the brain. Take that, take the pool cue and just bat mm -hmm. right through the eyes or something. I don't know. Yes, I agree. Oh my gosh. There's more too now. <gasps> Jeez. Oh no! Oh, uh oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Fire extinguishers, good. Those are good. Yeah, but it's not gonna. Oh, <laughs> wrong, wrong person. And we said the rifle we don't think is loaded or functional. Why don't you just shoot him, man? Oh my gosh. Ed, for the last time. <gasps> That's got to be a safety violation. <laughs> oh yeah, big time. Ooh, ouch. Uh, uh. Ooh. The sound, man. I'm a pacifist. Apart from David and Ed. Ed. Sorry, you what was Ed's experience? Uh, he shot his sister in the leg with an air rifle. I think we should do it. I think we should all do it. Who can find people? I don't trust Ed with gun? any guns. However, yeah. Ed the entire time has been playing first person shooter games, so he may actually have a little more experience than we think. Sean can do the like up there, to the left, down like, yeah, like he was right, doing like on they the they video doing game. Earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get my man away. David, Diane, let's go. I keep forgetting that his mom is also there. I know, I feel like she still doesn't seem to totally understand what's going on. Mm-hmm. Barbara? Uh-oh. Right. Does she get bit? She's been rubbing at her arm the whole time, mm -hmm. I think. I'd like you to have it. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Oh, her hand? Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh. I didn't want to say anything. I thought Sean would be worried. What do you oh, mean she you didn't want to say bother? He missed. Yo, come on now. Maybe give it to Ed. <laughs> Maybe give know. it to Ed, I agree. 11.45, keep it simple! Quarter to 12. <laughs> <laughs> uh, reload. I'm on it! There's not enough bullets though that are I know, like, not for all of them. What are you what gonna, are you gonna run do? Out. I shot. David, Diane, let's block up this window. Ed, take over for a second. Yeah, what are you gonna block it with though? Chairs are not enough. Mm-hmm. The man in his pajamas. I didn't want to say anything. I thought you'd oh. be upset. No. Oh. Take over a second. Barbara's hurt. Oh. Take over a minute. <laughs> They're all Uh not Ed. <laughs> Literally anybody but Ed. I mean, this but David. David? Oh my gosh, guys, this is not good. I never thanked you for these. It's been a funny sort of day, hasn't it? That's really sad. <laughs> that is really depressing. <laughs> oh, Ed. You guys, like, you're gonna have to kill her because she's gonna come back. I know, you're gonna, you gotta take her out. David. What are you doing? Don't point that gun at my mom! Sean, don't point that gun at Barbara! <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Look, Lizzie, she's gonna change. You know I'm right. And when she does, you she'll are, come but you need to give them a second. Yeah, you need to give them a moment. He's always hated me, and now he wants to shoot my mom. She's not. But the other thing is, David was on duty to shoot the zombies, mm -hmm. and now that he's not paying attention, like. I know you only hung out with me at college to get close to Liz, and when she knocked you back, I was there to pick up the pieces. Dang it, David. Daphs is pointing a gun at my mom. I'm not the one who's being unreasonable, Pico. For Christ's sake, oh. she's not dead. She's finished. We maybe need to pay attention oh to her, God. though. I know you don't want to hear this. <gasps> oh, no. 
Oh, that's he so looks sad. so genuinely sad. They're so sad. I'm sorry, Mom. <gasps> Jeez. Oh. Well, that was really sad. Who gave this movie permission? The, the acting? The, I thought it was supposed to be funny. The emotional beats? I know, this is a comedy. Oh, oh geez. that's so satisfying. <laughs> David, no! Really? He pulled the trigger. Yes, David, I, please leave. Oh, Get out. We, you know what? David can leave and he will distract the zombies as they eat his corpse. I don't even care anymore. You came for the same reason that I did because you didn't know what else to do. Now get away with that door this instant! But damn it! Dude, good for her. I know. Loki, Diane is an MVP. She's oh, been, yeah. she's I been agree. there this whole time. I feel like the hands are gonna like come through the window and grab him. Grab him. That is a very horror movie thing to happen. Yep. There we go. <laughs> so I know a lot of people found the channel through Star Kid. I'm 90% sure that they tried to recreate this scene in Guy oh, Who Oh, in the like Guy Who Didn't Like Musicals? Yeah, I'm 90% sure that's what this this was inspired well, by. I can totally see it. Or this is what that was inspired by. Oh my gosh. They ripped his legs. Oh. Wait, wait, no, no, no. They ripped everything. His head's gone, his legs are yeah, there. Guys. I guess they make good weapons. Oh. We're gonna have to run. Yeah, I guess that's all you've got now is, is let's mm -hmm. make some Molotov cocktails. Wait, no, not Ed. This is not I would not good. go in hand-to-hand -hand combat with- Well, okay, he got bit. It's over. No! Oh man, they are chowing down. Okay, whoa. I said leave him alone! He gone, dude. It took a while for, for both Philip and Barbara to turn, so he might have some time still to fight. Mm -hmm. Man, I really balls this up. Oh, you did the your first best. time ever, Sean. You've Loki done the right thing over and over mm -hmm. again. How many shows have we got left? Two. I suppose we could, you know, take a few of them out if they stand in a line. I wasn't thinking about them. Oh. Oh no. What about Ed? There's only two shells. I don't mind being eaten. How are we gonna do this? Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Maybe you should do me. I'll only muck it up if I have to do myself. This is so dark. I know. See, this is why I don't watch zombie movies. Yeah, that's fair. I don't think I've got it in me to shoot my flatmate, my mum, and my girlfriend all in the same evening. What makes you think I'm taking you back? You oh. Single, do you? <laughs> that is a valid argument. I might just stay here. Yeah, but we can get out. I need you back. Boy, Ed. Love you. Oh. Cheers. Oh. The frick gave this movie the audacity. That's actually so sad. What the heck? Ready? Ready. <sighs> oh, that's. Is it the army? It's always at the last second. The military shows up. Mm hmm. How are they not hitting them? Yeah, you're lucky that they didn't shoot you just thinking that you guys I were zombies. Know. <gasps> oh my god! Sean! Sean! <laughs> Dude, does that mean if they had just gone with them? Uh, they probably would have been all right. Yeah. So I wonder how quickly Yvonne and her yes. group were, were we'll picked up. We'll hear the story Ooh. of 10-year-old Enrique Ramirez. And to many, the events of Z-Day must seem like a bad thing. Z-Day. Z-Day. So why are they calling it Z-Day and not Z-Day? Maybe because it sounds like D-Day. I guess, but that's if that's not how you say Z, I'm so confused. Proving themselves useful in other roles. <laughs> this is what they did with them? So I mean... But it's I, my husband, you know. I've still got the ring on my finger, Trisha. Trisha? This Look is it. insane. Maybe not totally accurate, but we do have this tendency to immediately entertainment eyes anything. Like we did we did the same thing, you know, mm -hmm. with the Was that the, the pandy, the pandemic. Oh. Yeah. Wait, are they back in their house? The flat from before? Yeah. Like, or is this her house, do you think? Where did they get a new house? That would be lovely too. I think it's them because like they there's can't. that front door that they used to never shut. Yeah, so they're back. I guess their flat survived, which is nice. Is Ed still there? Uh, Ed, dude! Do they still get to so play video still games? still playing video games. First time watching, thoughts? Um, Questions, possibly, cares, concerns. It wasn't as much of a like parody that I thought it was going to be. It's or like I didn't wasn't... remember it being so depressing. It's yeah. pretty legit as a yeah. zombie movie. It's not like mm -hmm. the zombies are not like they're a, they're a real threat in this movie. You know? Yeah, absolutely. It's funny until it's not, and and until you're like, oh, 
Th- these are like real people, obviously you fictional, but like kill your friends and family. Yeah, that's I can't do zombie movies because oh the idea of that of somebody you know turning into like a lifeless. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. I yeah. used to have a lot of zombie nightmares when I was younger. Mm. Don't know mm-hmm, why. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it wasn't as funny as I thought it was going to be. <gasps> Um, I mean, it was still funny, but I feel like I expected it to be, like, dark, but still, like, a little lighthearted. And it was yeah. mostly just dark. <laughs> yeah. it. I mean, especially, I think, that tail end of it. The first half is pretty... But I think once Philip dies and he gives that that long speech, you're like, oh, there are like legitimate consequences. Mm-hmm. You know, we're not we're not just kind of brushing past the fact that these are like real people dying. So, I think once you realize that the movie takes the deaths seriously, you start to take them seriously, and then it becomes a lot less funny, and you're kind of like, oh, yeah, bit of a bummer. Yeah. Uh, did you think? Did anything surprise you, or was no. it pretty much what you what you expected outside of the comedy element? I think pretty much what I expected. I feel like it's, you know, it felt like a zombie movie. Yeah. Um, I would have to agree. I mean, I really appreciated the second time around. I really appreciated the performances. Yeah. Like, everyone. Good performances. I felt like everyone was really sad. (laughs) Yeah. I I mean, I'm trying to remember the actors' names. Let me see if I can pull them up. So, Simon Pegg was really good. Like, legitimately Mm -hmm. very heartbreaking as Sean. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pulling up the names. So I really liked him. Um, I thought that, but I think the entire ensemble did a fantastic job. I thought the actress who played Liz was mm-hmm. really good. And there was no point where the relationships felt like unrealistic. Mm-hmm. Like I was like, this is legitimately someone's relationship with their mom or with their girlfriend or with their dumb best friend who always messes things up. Like mm-hmm. it, there was a lot of realism. Yeah. Um, I, and oh. I think... <laughs> Go ahead. I hated David. <laughs> oh, David's the worst. Oh my gosh, he was the worst. Um, but it, he's also like fairly realistic. We all know someone like that who just, they kind of never get over their grievances with someone. They never get over that grudge. And it's always because, oh, you 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 stole the girl that I was into or blah, blah, blah. And there are people like that who just, they hold on to that grudge for like way too long. It's like, bro, if she doesn't like you like that, you got to get over it. Like, I know. But it's insecurity speaking. Yeah, for I don't sure. know. I think all the characters had their flaws. Oh uh, yeah, big time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but I think it was pretty realistic to see Sean's relationship with his mom and then with his girlfriend and the fact that like even early on they kind of conflated the two. That his his struggle to communicate with his mom is a perfect reflection of his struggle to communicate in a relationship, and that's so valid. Like so mm-hmm. many people with with a strained par- parental relationship end up having then strained romantic relationships because it's tough. But, yeah, that scene with his mom was painful. It was, was really sad. sad. And that's Penelope Wilton. Or is that her name? Let me check again. Yeah, Penelope Wilton, who played his mom, who's really good in everything I've seen her in. She's she's a phenomenal actress. But, yeah, she made me real sad <laughs> this time around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm hoping... That maybe the other ones possibly won't be so fuzz. sad. Exactly. Hot Fuzz and, and At World's End won't be as quite as depressing. Um, I don't, They also seem just to deal with like lighter subject matter generally. But as far as I know, there are like repeated gags throughout mm. the movies. Okay. So I think Sean in this movie hopping the fence and it falling over. There's like a variation of that gag in oh, love the it. next two movies as well. So what I'm hoping is that we paid close enough attention to this mm-hmm. one that when we go, we watch Hot we Fuzz, can... we watch uh, Wilson, we'll pick up on those. Mm-hmm. You definitely will. I think you're very, you seem like you're you're like on point when it comes to observing all the little details. Well, we'll see. <laughs> this movie no, was, so a, lot to, was a lot to absorb, so. <laughs> there is. It's so jam-packed. It feels like... Um, it's one of those movies that it's just, like, perfect for somebody with ADHD because there's something to look at always, <laughs> you know. And Edgar mm-hmm. Wright also did, he did um, uh, uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, uh, which yes. is always the movie that I tell people. if I'm like, if you have trouble paying attention to a movie, watch that one because it's so quick-paced. There's so much you happening. Get bored. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, any final thoughts on the movie? What would you rate it out of 10? I'm curious. Because you, oh. are, you are not only editor Haley, you're also review, movie review Haley, which is really cool. Um, I think first impressions would maybe be, like, 
a seven and a half out of ten. Um, I think I, w- I was thinking almost exactly the same thing. Okay. Um, yeah, I just think I need to process because it definitely wasn't <laughs> what I expected it to be. And so my expectations, I guess, were a little off. Um, yeah. I think it just, it leaves me feeling a little bit like, ah, oh. Like, I'm yeah. not, not going to cry watching this movie. I don't think I ever will. However, it leaves me feeling just a little bit down. I'm just like, oh, kind of a bummer. Not because it's bad, but because it just, I don't know. It's such a bummer of an ending. <laughs> even, even like, I think the gag with Ed in the, in the shack in the garden is kind of funny. But even that is just, like, really depressing. Because he doesn't get to, like, live a full life. Um, yeah. And there's, it's obviously there's still a shell of, like, past Ed left if he still likes playing video games and there's part of him is left over but Mm -hmm. i don't know that just makes it sadder in my opinion yeah so yeah (laughs) i think between seven and eight out of ten Mm -hmm. in terms of like filmmaking oh yeah it's very fun to watch it's fun to look at it's very clever um i i know there are probably a ton of breakdowns on the internet of all these like background gags and i'm sure there are tons that we we missed but Mm -hmm. yeah I think overall, we both really liked it. So yeah, if you guys, the audience, would like to watch the full-length reaction to this movie, that'll be up on Patreon right now. And uh, if you want to watch early access to Hot Fuzz, that'll also be up on Patreon. So like, you get two things. That's so cool. Two things (laughs) is so much better than one thing. It's Um, true. So yeah, if you want to hop on over to Patreon, and if you're new and this is your first reaction, welcome. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as we did. I think we had a lot of fun with this movie. Um, and please consider subscribing, help us get to 110 K. Um, and also if you stick around, you'll be able to see the rest of the Cornetto trilogy, which I am so excited to get into because I want to see new stuff. I like being (laughs) reacting to stuff for the first time. So yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys all in the next video. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace out. Peace.